Welcome to the Chris Willis University of North Alabama Football Review. Here are your hosts, Jeff Hodges and UNA head football coach Chris Willis. Hello and welcome to the Chris Willis Show. I'm Jeff Hodges with UNA head football coach Chris Willis. And Coach Willis, here in Carrollton, Georgia, the Lions come out on the short end of a 37-23 to decision to West Georgia. And it was a game that looked like it might get out of hand early. They got up 14-0, you came back 17-17 in the third quarter, but then they outscored us uh, down the stretch. And really it was mistakes on our part, a lot of it, and the timeliness of some of those mistakes. It really hurt us. Yeah, you know, it, it's we're down 7 nothing. We turn the ball over. I look up, we're down two scores. We, we get us a field goal. You know, then we come back. I think we made it 14-10, uh, to 10, I believe it was. And then right there for half, we kicked the ball out of bounds, and uh, we let them get down here. and get, They got good field position to move down here and kick the field goal, and they go up. We're only down a touchdown, but it's the fact that they got those points. Because we come out in the second half when we score and, uh, you know, tie the game up, which would have put us ahead if we hadn't given up the field goal. You know, it just uh, – I, I told the guys in the locker room, the, the unbelievable effort, our kids – probably played as hard in this game as they played in any game we've played this year. Uh, they never gave up. It's just so many mistakes, though, from balls being kicked out of bounds, from uh, not playing the right gap on defense, missing tackles on defense, to, you know, dropping balls. And I think we had four turnovers on offense. And, you know, just uh, a lot of – you could say little things, but they're big things, too. And it, it starts with coaching. It goes all the way around everybody. We. The kids' attitudes in there, they're down. They're a little, a little frustrated, but it's not to the point where, I, you know, we're, we're throwing in the towel or we've quit. It's just, you know, they know and we know we've got to cut back on the mistakes. There's just too many of them. And, again, the timeliness of uh, the situations there, you had the points right before the half. They were able to get a field goal right before half, and then you came out to start the second half, and your offense really seemed to click for the first time. You had a good long drive to tie the game. But then they scored in the next four possessions, and part of that was two turnovers on our part. Yeah, you know, we, we look good offensively going down and we answer. You know, we always seem to come out at halftime. We did that two weeks in a row now, I believe. And here we go. We feel like, you know, we got a little momentum going. The players seem to be juiced up, ready to go. Um, but it's almost got that feel on the sidelines. And, and even as a coach, I feel it, you know, okay, when is it, when's the bad thing going to happen? And uh, we, we're, not, we're not playing to win as much as we're trying to keep ourselves from uh, not expecting that big play. And I think that's why it happens a lot of times. And, you know, it's just an odd thing. I, I can't get it figured out. We're going to go back and watch the film and see. But uh, defensively, to me, it was just poor tackling today. Um, and then, you know, they got put in some bad situations by the offense with, with the turnovers. Well, I was going to say, I've never uh, seen as many missed tackles. I believe a lot of times you had them wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage in some cases, and they would break out. But uh, part of what happened today, too, was injuries. You had several players had to leave the game, and that was the last thing we needed with already <laughs> eight guys down uh, from what we started the season with. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. This is somebody says, well, what do you do? Coach Dean, we shook hands coming across, and he just kind of looked at me and said, man, I, I know that's tough. You know, you, you're losing players. And I told them, let me borrow their third team, guys. I mean, we're just, I, I don't, I don't know. You know, I, as an assistant coach, I've never really had to go through this. We've had injuries, and you have significant injuries at times, but I've never had so many. We left six, seven guys at home, I think it was. And then today, I know we had a knee, a shoulder, a broke hand, and, um, Another offensive lineman, I'm not sure, I think it was an ankle. You know, at some point, you know, I, you know, you can do all you can. You keep coaching, you keep playing hard, but at some point you, you got to get some of the pieces of the puzzle back. And we've got a lot of people out, and I have no idea how many is going to be out for the Florida Tech game, but we just uh, we're, we're beat up pretty good. A couple of positives, the uh, kicking of Chandler Carrera, a couple of nice field goals today, and then Nick Taylor rushed for over 100 yards, your first 100-yard rush of the season. Yeah, you know, I think the run game is, is gotten better, you know, and I think a lot of that has to do with so many people are worried about playing the quarterback pool, and so sometimes they're trying to decide how they want to play the back and quarterback. And then I do think Nick gives us some speed, and it, it makes a difference. We'll take a quick break, and we'll come back with first half highlights after this. There's a rhythm that flows here from the way we live to the way we do business. It flows from the banks of the Tennessee River and echoes in the breeze, the downtown street corners, and the stereos that play pure muscle shoals gold. Since 1936, TVA Community Credit Union has been in tune with the very heart of North Alabama, watching families grow and dreams come true. North Alabama and TVA Community Credit Union, in perfect harmony. 
When you support Lil Steve's convenience stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Visit one of these Lil Steve's locations in Florence on Pine Street and on Florence Boulevard, Cloverdale Road in Petersville, and Woodward Avenue in Muscle Shoals. Lil Steve's, where UNA shops. Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top ten nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. My pants are sagging, braided hair. Suckers stare, but I don't care. My game ain't knowledge, my game's fear. I've no remorse, so squares beware. Color, 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 color. Welcome back to the Chris Willis Show. Coach Willis, we're going to take a look at the first half here in just a minute. But one of the things you said was important going into this game was get some early momentum, especially with your offense trying to find some consistency. And it was exactly the opposite today. They got a touchdown on their first drive. We fumbled. It was up 14 nothing. But your team fought right back and really got back in the game by the we half. We did. We were on our heels. It's 14-3, to and they're driving to make it 21-3. to And I thought that would not have been the dagger that took the wind out of the sails. But Josh Thurman come up with a nice pick. You know, and that kept them out of the end zone. And it got us some momentum back. And, uh, you know, once again, you know, there's these signs where we play really hard and we're, we're fighting our rear ends off to make something happen. Um, but then we turn around and we have a 15-yard penalty or we, we turn the ball over. It's just it's so many mistakes. And, and you know, coaching, we got to do a better job. We got to get back to practice and figure out why are we making those mistakes or we got to put some different people in there. And maybe that goes back to some of the injuries. Some, uh, some of the guys we're having to play with right now maybe not be ready, but we, we got to clean those things up. Our passing game was a little inconsistent in the first half, but you did hit a couple of big plays. But really in the first half, it was the running of Nick Taylor. He had 79 yards at the half, and he really got us in that position for both of our scores. Yeah, I thought uh, Nick did a good job. He, he brings a different element to the game because he's got a, a different gear. Uh, he can bounce it on the outside and run it. And uh, so he's now that we've been giving him some carries, I think that's been a, a new uh, add to the running back core. You know, I think defensively we held them. I'm not looking at the stats. From my, I got them in my hand, but I think we held them around 50-something yards rushing in the first half. So we, 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 we kept them uh, hemmed up for the most part. And in the second half, they started running the ball on us defensively. And again, they got a 14 to nothing right out of the gate. Uh, you made it 14 to 10. I know you're disappointed they got a field goal right before the half, but still 17 points in the first half was not a bad effort by your defense. No, we went in to halftime outside of this, letting them have that field goal. We went in, we felt good. And I told the players, I said, guys, Take away the one turnover down here, it's probably a 10 to 10 game. We're gonna take a look at the first half highlights brought to you by First Metro Bank. To return for West Georgia, Devontae Jackson stands on the left hash, on the right hash. Watching the ball sell into the end zone. Custis will stand behind Candler in the pistol formation. And once again, it'll be a play action fake. Candler rolling to his left, lobbing it up, rolling wide open behind the UNA secondary. That's a big time first down into North Alabama territory. We've got three wide receivers split out right. Ball on the left hash. He shifts the back. Jackson from his left to right. Jackson will run off left tackle. He's hit, shakes off a tackle, makes a move right, and he's into the end zone. Good snap, good hold. The kick is up. Right down the middle, it is good. West Georgia scores on their opening drive to take a seven to nothing lead over North Alabama. So here comes the UNA offense. Our first look today at Maurice Bruton. First down, he will hand off to the running back, running off right tackle. That's Nick Taylor getting the start. His first career start at North Alabama, a pickup of about eight on first down. Now the two backs shift to the left side of the formation. First drive for North Alabama. Third down, can the Lions keep it alive? And Bruton loses the football. Ball down, he was sacked. That was Garden Hire on the sack. Bruton was holding the ball down low and the Wolves recover the fumble. A third wide receiver out wide right. Jackson running right up the middle. 
The kick from Wiggins is up and it is through the uprights. It is good. West Georgia 14, North Alabama nothing. From the left hash, the kick is a good one. End over end kick fielded at the 15 yard line by Jackson. Jackson takes it up across the 30, 35. He's down around the numbers, 45 stumbles, keeps his feet across the 50. A great return from Jackson. Taylor stands behind Bruton who's in the shotgun formation and he'll run it off the left tackle. He has a big hole. He'll pick up the TVA Community Credit Union first down. This will be about a 33 yard field goal from straight away. Gurley holds, the kick is up. The officials underneath the upright signal good. North Alabama gets on the board. 7.30 remaining in the first quarter. It's West Georgia 14, UNA 3. Joe Gurley will kick off for North Alabama. It's a high kick into the end zone. Devontae Jackson will take it two yards deep and he'll bring it out. Dances around the middle of the field. He's finally brought down around the left hash at the 16 yard line. Third and long ball on the 29 yard line. North Alabama again showing pressure. They back off, four man rush comes. They get through, Candler rolls right under pressure being chased by Puckett, Puckett wraps him up. Taylor again takes the snap on second down, runs off left tackle, cuts it around the left hash across the 50. Look at him spinning, dragging defenders with him now. Jackson shifts to the right of Candler. He'll take the oh. handoff and look at Aquarian Harris. He's there to swallow him up, a big time tackle for loss. Dre Hall, the single set left. Bruton takes the shotgun snap. He's running left. He keeps the ball. He's across the 50, 45. He'll go out of bounds into the West Georgia sideline. And North Alabama brings a blitz. Christian Taylor gets ah. through. Christian Taylor takes down Willie Kaler for the sack. Play clock now at seven seconds. He wants the ball. North Alabama brings an extra man. Kaler has all day to throw across the middle. He hits his wide receiver. Two wide receivers to either side of the formation. Play action fake. Kaler has to roll right under pressure. Throws on the run and it's intercepted. Intercepted by North Alabama. Getting in the passing lane, Josh Thurman. Formation, Nick Taylor back in at running back. He's running off left tackle, dances around, cuts it back right into space. Now at the right hash, he's across the 15, stretching it towards the far boundary. Rico takes a shotgun snap, dropping back, time to throw. Throws across the middle, a low pass, hauled in by Alex Norwood. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. Bruton looking left for Taylor. Taylor has it in space at the 30, across the 25. Taylor the back to the left of Bruton. West now bringing pressure on third down. Bruton will run it right up the middle, breaks the tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, North Alabama. Bruton did a great job there, sold the fake right up the middle into the end zone for the touchdown. That's huge. So here we go, Chandler Carrera on for the extra point. Will Loveless will snap, Joe Gurley holds. The extra point is up. The extra point is good. 117 remaining in the first half. It's West Georgia 14, North Alabama 10. A minute 17 remaining in the half. West Georgia up 14 to 10. Jackson will take the handoff running right up the middle. He's close to midfield, dances back right. Drags some UNA defenders into North Alabama territory. The snap, the kick is up. This one right down the middle, and the first half will close with a field goal from West Georgia. We'll head to the halftime locker room with West Georgia leading North Alabama 17 to 10. Finish more projects with less. Lose the hose, the compressor, and gas cartridges. You don't need them. Experience total fastening freedom, brought to you by the Pro Preferred brand of nailers with Hitachi's line of 18-volt lithium-ion cordless nailers. They're powered by Hitachi's new compact 3 amp hour battery that delivers all the power you need with half the weight you'd expect. And the compact 3 amp hour batteries are compatible with all Hitachi 18 volt slide type lithium ion power tools for even more flexibility. Tool free features like depth of drive, sequential or bump fire modes, and an integrated belt hook make these Hitachi cordless finish nailers convenient to use. Hitachi's 18-volt lithium-ion cordless nailers shoot more nails per charge, deliver quick response time in between drives, and consistently set nails flush, even at an angle. They're backed by Hitachi's lifetime lithium-ion tool warranty for ultimate peace of mind. Time, a precious commodity. It marches on, ready or not. And no matter how hard we try, we can't get it back. It's important to invest your time in your most precious asset, to make time for life's big decisions. At TVA Community Credit Union, our electronic services help you spend most of your time 
doing things that matter most. TVA Community Credit Union, high quality for what matters most. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the coach Chris Willis show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group, earning high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. And remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Hey friends, I'm Gene Solings. Are you looking for a place to watch the next big game? 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports is your spot. 306 has 30 HD TVs where the big game is always on. And Back Alley is a sports bar where the food matters. 306 Barbecue features fresh off the pit barbecue along with all of your game time favorites. 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports where the food matters in historic downtown Florence. When you support Lil Steve's convenience stores, you're supporting small American family owned businesses. They in turn support our high schools, community and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks and other items from Lil Steve's, you're saying we believe in America. Visit one of these Lil Steve's locations in Florence on Pine Street and on Florence Boulevard, Cloverdale Road in Petersville and Woodward Avenue in Muscle Shoals. Lil Steve's where UNA shops. Welcome back to the Chris Willis Show. As we get ready to look at the second half, Coach Willis, the Lions really pull it together at halftime. The Lions come out, march 77 yards on your first possession of the second half and tie up the game, and you got to really feel good about where you are at that point. Yeah, I mean, we came out the second week in a row. We've come out in the uh, second game in a row, excuse me. And we come out and uh, answered right after halftime. That was a good drive by the offense, and here we go. Momentum going our way. But it's, it's, it's just like when the offense has got something going, defense can't get it going. And then vice versa, the defense has got it going. Now, we can't get them on the same page. We're not getting consistent play out of both sides at the same time. West Georgia outscores us 20 to six over the final quarter and a half uh, after we tied it mid third quarter. But again, uh, the second half story was a lot of missed tackles. There were several plays where we had people bottled up and they would break three or four, or even five tackles and find their way to the end zone. Yeah, I don't know. We'll go watch the film. You know, I'd be shocked. It's probably the most we've missed this year. I, you know, we work on it, and, um, you know, they, they, I watch them every day at practice. They, they stress tackling. It's probably more this week than they have any week. Uh, you know, I don't know. You know, we got to look at who's maybe doing the tackling and maybe make some changes in, in personnel. Chandler Carrera, three for three on field goals. He had two uh, shorter ones early in the game, but a nice 39-yarder later in the game, and uh, you want to see that improvement. He's really doing a good Man, job. That's great by Chandler. He's coming on. You know, I knew he's got the ability to do that. Uh, fortunately, we could have used that game number one. But he's gotten better, and he, he's getting going to get better, just like a lot of other guys are going to get better. This is some work in progress, and we've got a little ways to go. Nick Taylor going to finish the game with 108 yards rushing, and we're going to take a look at those second-half highlights now, brought to you by First Metro Bank. The second half is underway. The kick from the left hash is a high end over and kick. Jackson will take it. His feet are in the end zone, one yard deep. He'll take it off right side, cuts it up around the right hash, spins, almost keeps his feet, finally drunk down. Delvon Carpenter to the left. West Georgia brings pressure. Bruton throwing on first down, looking up for Hicks. Hicks makes the catch over his shoulder, out of bounds into West Georgia territory. Tanner Fink remains the tight end in tight left. Cox stands to the right now of Bruton. Bruton looking to throw on second and short. Throws right for Hall. Hall will be about a yard short of the sticks. Rodney held the fullback, stacked in front of Taylor Wright. Bruton will pitch it out to Taylor on the quick toss. Taylor scampers around. All the receivers have a man lined up in front of them. Bruton looking to throw, airing it out once again for Hicks. Hicks, jump ball, makes the grab into the end zone. They signal touchdown, Lions. Chandler Carrera set to kick. Joe Gurley will hold. Will Lovelace's snap is good. The hold is good. The last part, the kick is good. New ball game. We're knotted up at 17, 9.59 on the clock in the third quarter. Jones goes in motion right to left. Two wide receivers each side for Candler. Throwing on first down, throws underneath to Jackson. Jackson in space on the right side of the field across the 40. He outruns some UNA defenders. Candler takes the shotgun snap, throwing on first down under pressure, and he's sacked. Johnny Anderson with the sack for North Alabama. Candler takes the shotgun snap, rolling right under pressure, setting up the throwback screen. He's got his tight end open. He breaks a tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, West Georgia. West Georgia reclaims the lead with a 10-play, 66-yard scoring drive. It's now 24-17, 5.58 remaining in the third quarter. 
Jackson takes the kickoff for North Alabama at the three yard line, cuts it out left. He has green grass in front of him at the 20. He reversed his field trying to cut it back inside. He Alex Norwood isolated right. Hagan Scott, Donzel Polite, and Delvon Carpenter split out left. Bruton throwing on first down across the middle to Polite. Polite makes the grab into West Georgia territory. Takes a hard hit, signals first down. Scott makes it three on the right side as he goes in motion left to right. Bruton throwing, under pressure, steps up. He's going to scramble. He's across the 35-30. He picks up the first, bound, first down. Damon Cox back in the ball game. Play action fake. Bruton will run behind the fullback held. Cuts it up across the nine. Eight yard lines where they'll isolated left. Norwood and Hall split out right. Bruton will run right up the middle. Cuts it up behind his right guard. Takes it down to the five yard line, middle of the field. The West Georgia crowd chanting block that kick. The kick is not blocked. It is up and it is good. A 26 yard field goal for North Alabama makes it 24 to 20. 154 remaining here in the third quarter. Joe Gurley's kickoff will bounce at the three yard line and a fumble. The return man, Shannon, taking it up the near boundary from the 39 yard line. UNA needs a third down stop. Candler under pressure, spins out of it around Frank Williams, throws underneath. He has Jackson open for the first down and this is trouble. Crosses the 50, the 45 40, cuts it back up towards the right hash. He's out the middle of the field, finally brought down. Ball on the right hash, the snap is good, the hold is good, the kick is up. And it is good, a seven point lead for West Georgia, 27 to 20, 12.58 remaining in the ball game. Bruton looking to throw on second and median, throwing for the six and it's intercepted. And this will be another defensive touchdown for the third. Handler, North Alabama brings pressure right up the middle, Custis runs right up the middle, pass it, hurdles Dorsey Norris and he's going to scamper in right up the middle for a touchdown. The extra point is up. And that makes your score 34 to 20, 12.05 remaining in the ball game. Bruton takes the snap at his knees, looking to throw across the middle and another interception. 35 yard field goal attempt on the way, ball on the left hash. Wiggins has the kick up. And it sneaks through the uprights. That one is good. West Georgia pushes the lead out to 37 to 20, 7.36 remaining. Jamal Jackson for North Alabama fields the punt near the West Georgia bench at the 16 yard line, dances up around the 20, around the numbers, brought down. 634 remaining in the ball game. Kaler will hand off to Jackson, running off left tackle, cuts it back up right, spins around, ball on the ground. It's picked up by Maurice Carnell. He's trying to jump on it, fight for it now. Carnell has it, North Alabama football. Chandler Carrero. On for the 39-yard field goal attempt from the left hash. The kick is up. It has the distance. And the referee signal good. UNA puts points on the scoreboard. 37 to 23 our score. 509 remaining. My pants are sagging, braided hair. Suckers stare, but I don't care. My game ain't knowledge, my game's fear. I've no remorse, so squares beware. Color, 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 color. Hey friends, I'm Gene Solix. Are you looking for a place to watch the next big game? 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports is your spot. 306 has 30 HD TVs where the big game is always on. Back Alley is a sports bar where the food matters. Throw Six Barbecue features fresh off the pit barbecue along with all of your game time favorites. 306 Barbecue and Back Alley Sports where the food matters in historic downtown Florence. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the coach Chris Willis show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group, earning high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. And remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! 
Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf, the Marriott Shoals Hotel, and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa, Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. Welcome back to the Chris Willis Show. Coach Willis, it's time for our break apartments player of the game, and that is running back Nick Taylor this week. Nick got his first start. Uh, 22 carries for 108 yards, and he really carried the load, as we mentioned, in the first half, yeah. uh, added some yards in the second half, but he was our player of the game. You know, Nick transferred from us from Murray State, and uh, we looked at playing him at maybe slot receiver and running back, and um, probably don't have the best hands on the team. Actually, he's made some good catches out of the backfield. Um, but we, we felt like his speed and his quickness, could, we could use it at running back. After losing C.J. Sturdivant, we tried to bump him up to give him some more carries, and it's paid off. Uh, Nick's he's shown two weeks in a row now that he can help us. Of course, the Lions have Florida Tech coming to Florence next Saturday. and Coach, that'll be another tough one, a very good football team. And somebody, even the years uh, where we've won the games, they've been some high-scoring games. They've got a great quarterback, and they've got a really powerful offense. Yeah, you know. It's a game you're going to have to match them. Uh, if we're not going to be playing any better on defense, we're going to have to match them score for score. It's going to be a very tough game. As, as good as the last two teams we've played, or probably good as all the teams we've played, we ain't played an easy team yet. Uh, we're going to have to come back, bounce back, hopefully get some people back. You know, it's homecoming. We you know, we like to win homecoming. Um, I'm sure Florida Tech will use that as some motivation, uh, scheduling them for homecoming. You know, I don't know if that really totes any weight anymore nowadays. but. Uh, what we do, we just gotta we gotta get back at it, and keep working. Um, you know, this this happens occasionally. We're, we're one in uh, three, and still got enough games left to get the. You know, if you went out and go seven and three, I believe we'll make the playoffs. We don't want to harp on injuries too much, but it has hurt the consistency when you have different groups out there. And obviously, the offensive line had a couple guys go down today. You had a couple of defenders go down, so it's been tough having a consistent group on the field. Yeah, I, you know, what are we in our four games in? I've just never seen so many injuries. I can't think back. I'm, I'm all over the years, and just a lot of injuries and. Um, is significant injuries. People that are out for the year, uh, people that's out for four or five weeks. So I don't know the latest on these guys today. Hopefully we can get somebody back. Uh, well, we this is just a Division II football, and you don't have as much depth as you would at, at the Division One level. And right now we're going through a little bit of that, and we're just going to find a way to weather the storm. And Coach Willis, you mentioned homecoming. We'll take a quick moment and congratulate UNA uh, defensive back coach Blake Ferris. He's going to be inducted in the UNA Athletic Hall of Fame uh, coming up next Saturday. He's part of our class of 2017. So congratulations to Blake, great player and coach at UNA. Yeah, Blake's been around a long time. He came here in 2002 as a player. Uh, I think he holds the record for 10 interceptions in the season. He's done a great job. Our secondary is, is, you know, he's got a new secondary this year, and he's doing a fantastic job. I'm excited for Blake. I think it's well deserved honor. He's not just a good coach; he's a good person. Our Athletic Hall of Fame ceremony is at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. It's open to the public. It's in the Gallat University Center. Of course, the game going to kick at uh, 6 o'clock against Florida Tech, and uh, hopefully have a great crowd out there, and hopefully the Lions can bounce back and get some players back for that one. So thanks for being with us this week, and hope to see you at Brawley Stadium. Join us again next time for the Chris Willis University of North Alabama Football Review.